Welcome to the Ogle's channel. Thanks for watching today. Let's talk about the cheese, the Executioner's Chariot, and Dark Souls 2. Now, in order to do a cheese method for this particular boss, you're probably going to have to be a mage build or a sorcerer build. You really can't do a cheese for this boss if you're doing melee, but melee is pretty easy on its own. All you have to do for melee is just simply search out the um, summoning uh, wizards and whatnot, kill them off, and then basically murder all the skeletons, and then go up and then simply pull the lever, and it knocks a little gate down where the Executioner's Chariot runs into it, and then you finish it off that way. But once again, that's the traditional way. You came here for the cheese method. And so for this method, you are going to need to have pretty much any um, projectile spell as well as the dark fog and a poison mist. Now, when, as soon as you go into the arena here, what you're going to want to do is have your shield up and uh, let some skeletons come over and start attacking you. The little executioner chariot will come by, kill them off, and then you'll simply run up, throw out a dark cloud on the uh, summoning wizard over here or the mage over there. And uh, of course, that will slowly deplete her HP and then once she's gone, all you have to do is simply stand off to the little corner here with your shield up. The executioner's chair will come through, finish off the rest of the skeletons in this area. Now, you don't have to go out and fight any of the other ones or any of the other uh, mages or anything like that or any of the summoners because they're all focused later on down the tunnel. You're going to be only staying in this one particular area at the beginning. This is all the fighting you're going to have to do against like these smaller enemies. Now, once you've done this, there are two methods that you can go about to attack the Executioner's Chariot as it's coming around. And the first method is actually really surprising to me, and this is going to be to poison the Executioner's Chariot. When you see it coming around the corner, go ahead and throw out a dark cloud, and it's going to take a couple of times of him coming around, going through your cloud to build up that poison, but it's actually going to get the poison on him, and it's going to start taking away that 15 HP at a time, simply because it's poisoned. You can also throw out the poison cloud or the poison mist, do the exact same thing, but um, you actually can get the poison on the uh, Executioner's Chariot as it's going around. But you'd have to have a lot of that in order to um, basically take away all of its HP. So what you're going to want to do here is simply get out like a soul arrow or a great soul arrow. And all you're going to want to do as soon as you see it coming around the corner, go ahead and throw out one soul arrow and then go back into your little uh, hiding spot here. And that one soul arrow, if you just time it right, will hit the uh, Executioner's Chariot. Go back into your corner and then you simply wait for it to come around again. Throw out that soul arrow as you see it come around the corner. Go back into your little hideout here and just keep doing a strategy over and over. Now when it gets its health down to about right here, it's going to have the same effect as if you pulled the gate shut on it. And at that point, all you have to do here is go up and um, basically take one slice against him. He falls off the edge and you've won the battle. It is that simple. It is a very easy boss battle if you want to go about it in this cheese method. It does take some spells that you have to know as far as like, you know, a mage build, but it is a complete cheese of this boss and it's not how it's meant to be fought and you can easily have him defeated probably first try going around this method. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check my other videos listed up above and as always, go out there, find a great game to play. Just simply have a great rest of the day.